what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since i'm about stream six in this video here today going over a very big friday that we have coming up next week unfortunately it's not this friday but next friday and then we have something to look forward to going into the upcoming week after that friday because after next week's friday of course we're going into the week of release for scream six so there's three maybe four three four three to four different things i'm going to share with you in this video so firstly next friday we get the demi lovato the demi lovato track still alive that's the first important thing to remember because i know so many people are, are very hyped about the other aspect of next friday so you're getting the demi lovato still alive track next friday that we've seen teased we've heard snippets of it it sounds amazing and that's one thing happening next friday now the other thing happening next friday that is very big to a lot of people because we've been waiting for this day is that you're going to get your first reactions about scream six coming out next friday so this is going to happen at 9 30 p.m on march 3rd 9 30 p.m eastern on march 3rd so i know that there are people in the uk who are also going to be seeing the movie this week uh later this week so that lines up with why we may start to see some reactions next friday on the third at 9 30 p.m eastern because what's happening just a few days after that friday on the monday week of release according to viewer anon we are going to be having the scream six red carpet world premiere event taking place in new york now the first reactions bit of information shout out to you big screen leaks that came from you big screen leaks is the one who let us know that the first reactions for scream six will come out on march 3rd at 9 30 p.m eastern again you're going to get the demi lovato still alive track as well so next friday is going to be very fun but then a few days after that according to viewer anon on march 6th in new york city that is when the world premiere event will be taking place so the fact that they have the embargo at least the first social reactions ready to come out on this on this upcoming friday before the world premiere is a big sign to me that they have a lot of confidence in the product that they're about to put out and it makes me so overwhelmed with excitement for this movie and the confidence that they have going into it now the other bit of information is that since the embargo for social reactions seems to be lifting next friday that then lets me know that immediately after i see it i can put out at least a social reaction i will not put out a review until the review embargo is out but at least now i know that once i see it the embargo will have lifted for social reactions i get to see the movie on march 7th at 7 30 p.m now if the review embargo is lifting that night or lifting that date then you will have a review up for me on this channel it will be spoiler free at first and then wednesday or thursday i'm most likely going to do it on thursday i'll have my spoiler filled review up uh, as well on the channel but spoiler free of course will always come first just like last year with scream screen five but i'm seeing it on march 7th at 7 30 p.m eastern i'll have my social reaction up when i leave the theater immediately after i leave the theater if i'm still alive meaning if the movie doesn't of course blow me away and shatter my expectations not that i have the highest of expectations but i'm really excited about all this stuff i wanted to share it all in this video with you guys so next friday you get the demi lovato track still alive you're going to get the first reactions for scream six as well later that night at 9 30 p.m eastern according to big screen leaks and then according to viewer anon that following monday after that a few days later that's when the world premiere will happen and we're going to get the red carpet event that we wanted so badly for screen five but of course we know circumstances led to that not happening i think it was actually canceled but they're going to get to do it this time with scream six and i know all of the cast members who are returning for this project are hopefully going to have a good time and hopefully hayden pantier will be able to attend none of this is really all that important right now since she just lost her brother so if you haven't already been informed of that yes hayden pantier did unfortunately lose her brother recently so if you want to send her well wishes you can go and do that of course over on her social media but hopefully hayden is able to stay strong through all of this because she's worked so hard to get back to the spotlight but of course everything with your family should come first that is her first responsibility, first priority, and that is something that we all should respect. But hopefully Hayden is in attendance at this premiere as well. But if she's not, it's understandable. Now, as far as the reactions to Scream 6, I know people want them to be overwhelmingly positive. Now, keep in mind, when you see overwhelmingly positive reviews, for a lot of people, that's a sign that when the actual embargo comes out, 
that's when you will see some level of more in-depth criticism that might go against the initial positivity that was in the person's social reaction. Or if the initial social reaction seems overly negative to somebody, then when their full in-depth review is able to be published, you see that it's not that they have the most negative thoughts about it. That was just the very first thing that came to mind when they got out of the theater. For some people who give it an overly positive reaction right out of the theater, that's probably, again, what was just coming to mind at first for them too it doesn't mean that the movie was the best thing ever unless of course they specifically stated that in a tweet but when they are able to actually put out their full review some days usually have passed they're able to let everything marinate a little more and their sentiments on it overall don't tend don't usually line up with what they put out in their social reaction completely because they're again they're going in a little bit more in depth telling you the pros telling you all the cons giving you some reasons why behind they have these pros and cons but i know some people want this to have an overly overwhelmingly positive reception and i'm sure that's what it's going to get similar to screen five but i am going to predict that this movie would end up in the 60 percent to 80 percent range over on rotten tomatoes the thing that people love to go to to monitor to see what the critic score is and then of course if the critic score doesn't align with what they wanted the narrative is then going to become f the critics but if the critics are in alignment with what they want oh they love the critics that's usually how it happens with some people, not everyone, but some people, you know who they are and they know who they are. <laughs> but I'm expecting to see mostly positive responses in, re in relation to the performances of uh, definitely going over the overall direction and how that everything visually looks like an improvement. So the cinematography and the overall direction, I can easily see getting praised, the performances, the score, the of course, the area of where the opportunity of criticism would lie with many projects i would argue this area tends to fall is going to be with the writing however the narrative is told whatever in the narrative might not make sense completely to some people or whatever they find to be illogical in some ways whether that takes them out of the narrative or lessens the tension that the movie's trying to establish that's where i see the biggest issues for scream 6 happening and that's not to say that the script isn't good but for me and usually with any other project i think the biggest area of opportunity always comes down to the script and how it was written and how of course how it was executed but next friday is a big week and next next no next friday is a big day you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video